hey, there was some news about the Ramones last week. A lawsuit was filed by Johnny Ramone's wife, Linda Ramone. Johnny's been dead for 20 years at least. She filed a suit against Joey's brother, Mickey Lee. This pisses me off to no end. I'm a huge Ramones fan. One of my top three bands of all time. Johnny Ramones, my number one guitar influence. Man is a legend. So if you want to hear some Ramones history, all you little guys out there that don't know shit, stay tuned. I'm going to show you this picture right here. I met Johnny Ramone once back in the early 80s. Here's the picture. You notice his hair is really short. He doesn't have the cereal bowl haircut, which the only time I met him, he didn't have that haircut. I was kind of bummed out. You know why he has hair like this? Because probably nine months or a year before this photo was taken, old Johnny was hitting on some chick in New York. The boyfriend wasn't too happy about this and basically kicked his head in. Johnny almost died. They had to cut off all his hair, open up part of his skull to relieve the pressure. And actually, the next album that they did was called Too Tough to Die because of this incident. So Johnny, he kind of likes playing around with other guys' chicks. Now, Linda Ramone, who was called Linda Daniels, I believe, started dating Joey Ramone back in the early 80s, I believe. And from what I read, they were actually dating for three years and they were engaged. But Linda realized Johnny was the leader of the band. So she wanted to go after Johnny. And Johnny, being the dick that he is, I love the guy, but he has a bad reputation. He didn't care about Joey. He decides to take her for himself. This caused a hell of a rift within the band. Joey and Johnny didn't speak to each other for 10 plus years after this incident. So, what's going on here with this lawsuit? Well, Joey's brother, Mickey Lee, wrote a book called I Slept With Johnny Ramone. And they're going to make a movie on Netflix. They're planning on it with Pete Davison as the actor playing Joey Ramone. I saw Pete Davison stand up on Netflix. I didn't think he was funny at all, but I give the guy credit. He dates some women, Kardashian, Ariana Grande. This guy ain't good looking, but they say he's got quite the schlong. He ain't packing no G.G. Allen special in there. Anyway, Mickey Lee's trying to make this movie, and old Linda filed the lawsuit. Oh, you can't use Ramon's music, blah, blah, blah. You can't do this, you can't do that. I wonder why. You think Mickey Lee and Joey Ramon didn't talk about this incident that happened when she left him while they were engaged to be with Johnny Ramon? Oh, she might be put in a negative light. Well, this lawsuit was filed. I don't know about you, but I'm on Joey's side. I mean, I love Johnny Ramone's guitar playing, but they say, oh, he's a dick. Well, when I met him, he didn't say anything, but he did give off a vibe like that. So we'll see how this lawsuit goes. I hope they make the movie. This is almost like the Sex Pistols thing that happened a couple of years ago. Old Johnny Rotten, he was mad that Steve Jones was making this movie based on his book. 
Oh, Johnny, he spent a lot of money trying to stop it. And I love Johnny Rotten, Johnny Lydon. But please, it's his book. Shut the fuck up. Let him fucking make the stupid movie. Same thing here. Let this guy make the movie about his brother. But this Linda Ramon, this groupie, she's trying to stop it. She has nothing to do with the Ramones. Bang two of them. And now she's got 50% of this company. God awful. And guys... Never let a woman get between you and another guy. Never be a man.